What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Goom Squad YouTube channel. My name is Jordan. Today we have a good video for you. I'm going to take you through the first two weeks of Squattober. Squattober is a social media uh, fitness challenge that they run through Instagram. Sornex kind of sponsors it, and then Pen and Paper Strength app is the one that puts out the programs. They've done it for a couple of years. This is the first time that I've ever done it. Um, some friends turned me on to it. Uh, last year sounded cool. I was in a good place with my training, wanted to switch something up and uh, just wanted to test it. So I ended up recording a lot of my training sessions or at least snippets of them. Not uh, this isn't the complete exercises, or the complete workouts, but it is, um, like I said, a little snippet of it. So you'll see most of my squats for those days, just kind of some of the weights and numbers I'm throwing up. Um, so just to kind of take you through it and show you what Squattober is all about. And I had a ton of fun doing it and I feel like I got a lot of benefit from it. So maybe it'll inspire you to uh, try next year. All right, so let's get through it. All right, good morning. It's day four. Squat to over started on Saturday. Today's Tuesday. Good workout yesterday. Today's is all about sevens, four sets of seven on squat and some other stuff at the seven rep range, benching and whatnot. So feel good, slept good. Let's go in and get after it.
my weight, baby. Let's go. morning this is like day 11 squatober a little earlier today 548 about to head into the gym uh this is like the 11th day of october but the eighth day of squatting feeling okay played 18 last night it definitely adds some strain to the body just trying to sleep as much as possible which is hard for some reason but enjoying the workouts and feeling strong so let's get after it
morning. 6.15 Wednesday morning, day 12, Swatober. It's gonna be the inaugural garage gym workout. A little cool in here, it's probably 62. I get the space here running, get a little warm up inside. Got plenty of layers on. Do some squatting, back squatting, front squatting, standing overhead press, and uh, one or two auxiliaries, so. Let's have some fun. So here's my Squatober two week summary. We are officially at halftime as of this uh, piece of it. So what are some pros? So grip strength, definite improvements there, doing a lot of farmer's carries, um, doing a lot of curls, a lot of sort of reps to failure and things like that. So I feel like my forearm's got a lot of good work there. Same uh, same story or same message, different story is the arm volume, AKA what they call the cardio section, which I really enjoyed. A lot of 15 reps, 20 reps. Um, AM wraps with curls, tricep exercises, things like that. Uh, the other pros, I guess you could call this a pro, is, is my one rep max a little low. Uh, I felt like some of the squats were a little bit easier, and maybe that's just because I selected a lower a one rep training max, but um, the Squatober team does a good job like giving you the option to adjust that in the middle. Uh, the other pro thick thighs, definitely starting to feel the legs kind of fill out. Um, some of my slimmer jeans, we'll call them, are definitely getting tighter. And then mental fortitude, I think, getting up and working out five days a week. Um, I thought it was going to be almost like too challenging, too difficult, you know, going to max and stuff like that. But they do a really good job with the programming, keeping it kind of seesawing up and down and um, in terms of intensity. So while you're tired, it never feels like you can't do the workout or uh, sort of just engages you to really think uh, and push through. Then on the con side, and these aren't cons in terms of like bad programming or anything like that, just some things that um, were bothering me. Number one is just lower back fatigue. So obviously with when squatting this much, if you're not squatting, you know, a ton on your regular programs, the squatting and the deadlifting days, those are the ones where the lower back felt really fatigued. And that was like the first thing I felt when I came into the weight room the next day. And then the other piece was I was kind of struggling to get quality sleep. I was waking up a lot, um, even though I was going to bed pretty early, kind of going to bed at like 8 or even 8.30 to wake up by 5, 5.30 to get the workout in. Uh, that might have been related to creatine, which might be sort of an individual reaction for me. 
because once I got off it, I started to sleep better. But uh, to be fair, I haven't slept super great for a long time. So it could just be me in general. But uh, either way, only two negative things, um, not too much to worry about. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to the last two weeks. I got a lot of good training footage from that. Um, click the link in this video to check it out and hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.